Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to fix this problem in SharePoint. The site is locked. We couldn't find the Microsoft 365 group connected to the site. And we're going to get through this pretty quickly, but I do want to show you where this came from. Basically, I had no idea that this group existed. I found that there was a problem when I was running Veeam to do a backup. This IPW group, I have no idea what the heck that is. I must have built that years ago. And when I go take a look at it, which I do by going to portal.office.com, signing in, clicking admin on the left. And yes, I'm going through this very quickly because I'm assuming you already know this. But just in case you don't, we'll blast through it. I click show all, and then I get into the SharePoint administration site right here. When I click on active sites, this IPW group is toast. I can't do anything with it. If I click on it, it tells me it's locked. If I try to delete it, it tells me the site can't be deleted because the site is locked. So how do you fix this thing? Well, it's not that hard to do, but you do need PowerShell. We'll put a link in the top right hand corner with all of the commands that you need. But let's just show you what you have to do to get through it first. So the first thing you need to do is get the latest PowerShell for SharePoint, better known as the SharePoint Online Management Shell, which you can get from here. Now, I have already downloaded it and installed it. I'm just going to close that and I can go to click start and type in SharePoint and there's the SharePoint Online Management Shell. Right click, run it as an administrator or I can just bring up Windows Terminal because I'm running Windows 11 because it bolts into there as well. So there we go. I'm just going to run the Windows Terminal. Now, if you want to know what version you're running, that's the command. So I'm running version 16 point whatever. The next thing you need to do is connect and this is the command line for that. So it's URL is your URL to your SharePoint site. And we're going to show you this credential uh, problem here. Let me just press enter. It's going to pop up and ask me for the password and I'm going to enter it. It's going to tell me to get lost. We'll show you how to get around that. So it says uh, connect SPO service. The sign in or password does not match the one in Microsoft account system. Well, I'm positive it's right. So how do you get around that? And why is that a problem? It's a problem in my case because I've got two factor authentication. So it's one of two things. You either have your, you either do have your credentials wrong or more likely you just have two factor authentication. So if you want to get around that, just get rid of dash credential and then sign in. There we go. And the command that you now need is set dash SPO site dash identity, whatever the URL is. In my case, it goes to that SPW group dash lock state. And then whatever the state is, we want it to unlock. And you think, well, I don't really know what that address is, what that URL is. Just right click on the website in the SharePoint admin site, select copy link, and that will give you here. I'll just put paste it up here so you can see it. You can see that that is the full URL. All right, so let's give that a shot. Here we go. Close this, refresh, awesome. So it's now not locked and I can dump it. Yes, I want to dump it. Bye, gone. And that is how you unlock a SharePoint site. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you want to get a hold of us, you can do so at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and somebody always has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.